Am I the asshole? For refusing to take my girlfriend to nice places because she eats like a kid. My girlfriend is an incredibly picky eater. Like I said in my title, she eats like she is 10 years old. In fact I'll give a short list of things she refuses to eat unflavored water, fish excluding fried shrimp, anything with bones, cheese other than sharp cheddar, spinach, onions, garlic, pasta without red sauce, eggs, spicy food, aioli, ketchup, potatoes other than french fries, pastries with fruit, citrus, sausage or any non-American food. This compares to me, someone who grew up in multiple different regions of the US and lived in abroad for a few years, so I'm a bit more adventurous when it comes to food. Whenever me and my girlfriend go out somewhere nice she ends up getting the same meals usually either a burger or chicken tenders and fries. We could be going to an authentic Nepalese restaurant and she will get the french fries and white rice. To me it's kind of embarrassing to go to a restaurant where there is a dress code and for her to order chicken tenders and fries. It especially bothers me that since I typically pay, I end up paying 15 bucks for chicken tenders that I could get from the freezer section at Walmart for 5 bucks. Recently in our area a very nice dinner place opened up and my girlfriend has been dying to go. I took a look at the place and the menu and saw that it looked nice but the food was kind of pricey. She said she was probably gonna get chicken tenders as per usual. I asked her what's the point of going then if I can toss some tenders in the air fryer for her and not spend a ridiculous amount of money on it. She asked why I had an attitude about this and I told her that I thought it was a waste of time and money to go to a nice place to get little kid food. She interpreted this as me calling her a little kid. I clarified that I wasn't calling her a child, however it is kinda childish for her to eat the way she does. I also said that if she's gonna order food we can make it home Therese not a by point in us going anywhere. This lead to an argument about me thinking I'm better than her. Iter? Info why can't she pay this time? If she wants to go to the restaurant then she can pay for the meal and order whatever she wants. Info would she spend her money on eating at the nice places you talk about or would she go elsewhere if she had to pay? I only ask as to me it's important to see if a person would act the same when they are paying rather than being treated. You have to eat several times a day for the rest of your life. You need to seriously consider if this is going to be a problem for the rest of your relationship. Are you going to look at your GF every time she eats at home and resent the fact she doesn't have a more open palate? I am a moderate picky eater. My husband is a clinically selective eater far pickier than you can imagine. We make a good bear, eating out is not important to either of us. Picky eater here and I vote not the asshole. If GF wants to go to these fancy restaurants and order her basic food, then she can do so with her friends or family. She is perfectly capable of dining out with others. Op can also choose to dine out with people who will sample all parts of the menu. Maybe this is just something the two experience with others and save dining out together for mutually agreed on places. Info I don't see why she would even want to go to these nice, especially ethnic places if she's going to have nuggets fries. Is it so she can brag she dined there? If she wants to go. Does she foot the bill, or at least her part? I think I'm missing some context, but I understand your frustration. Not the asshole. What's the point of going to a restaurant that is charging high prices for the food experience if you aren't going to actually take part in that experience? TBH, I don't think you are compatible. Your background has led you to be more inclusive as far as what you eat and I expect that extends to other aspects of your life. Your girlfriend doesn't want to grow past her comfort zone. I don't see how this can work out in the long run. Not the asshole. She could go and have a unique drink or something if she wants to experience the atmosphere, but without getting chicken tenders and fries for 3x the cost that they would be at a diner or from the store. I would not be willing to pay premium prices for the same, low value food over and over and over again. I think you'll need to break up. You clearly don't like her much. I don't think this is sustainable. Not the asshole. 
Going to a fancy restaurant is not only about the location but also experiencing something new, or at least something different. If my wife and I are going to a fancy restaurant we never choose something we could easily make by ourselves at home. Going to a fancy restaurant and having chicken with french fries wouldn't be worth the money for me. And I know, eating in a restaurant is more than just about the food. However, the main reason going there is to food. Nah but you two are simply not compatible. I don't know man, I understand you thinking it's a waste, but I would be really upset if my husband told me he wasn't going to take me out to eat anymore unless I ate what he approved. Um. Why are you with this person? You're you're the asshole because you continue to date someone you resent and who can never enjoy what you do with you. Info why are you dating somebody you don't like? I feel like more information is needed, is she simply picky or does she have disordered eating or does she have allergies? There are other reasons she could just be eating chicken fingers. By your title I assumed she eats with her hands, puts elbows on the table or chews with an open mouth. Not this very vanilla problem. You're the asshole. You get the food experience you want, she gets the atmospheric experience she wants and you get to be together. I don't see the problem. If it really bothers you to pay for that let her pay for herself, but I do not see why you should be embarrassed. And this is tricky for me, because I would feel the same frustration as you. But I just wouldn't date someone I was this incompatible with, food wise. I have to go you're the asshole, because I think you do think that you're better than her. Picky eaters still deserve to go out for some fancy restaurant chicken tenders sometimes. If you're gonna date this girl, you've got to accept this about her, not be condescending about it. If you can't do that, then let her be with someone who can. Now dealing with someone like that is exhausting if you're not like that. On the other hand, she has every right to eat whatever she damn well pleases. Eating habits may seem small but they're ever present. If you can't work this out, you're probably not compatible long term. Nah. I think it takes a specific kind of person to be with someone who is determined to never try any new foods and basically limits themselves to white rice, fries, and chicken tenders. She's not wrong for having a very limited menu. You're not wrong for wanting a partner who isn't adverse to colors and seasoning. It doesn't just impact your dining out, it also impacts what you cook at home, social situations, and if you have kids the kind of eating that will be modeled for your children. You're the asshole if something as small as this bothers you so much that you'd be embarrassed to go out with her then you have bigger issues. If she's eating what she likes and you're eating what you like what does it matter? Do you really care what the people at the table next to you think when chances are you'll never see them again? Let her find someone not so upset over her eating habits. People are who they are, and clearly part of who she is bothers you to no end. You're not the asshole but at the same time she can eat whatever she wants. Why not compromise go out to eat but each pay your own way.